J360 Productions. Yeah, there we go. Hey, how's it going, J360 Legion? What is happening? This is J Man, of course. I'm just checking to see what's up. Time to play some Kill Zone again. And picking up from last time, we managed to infiltrate one of the enemy camps. Now we got to go ahead and see like what this new gun I uh, got is gonna do. <laughs> Blast people and all that kind of stuff. So I guess we're gonna bust out of the camps now. Ah, here we go. Hold on. Oh, you know what that is? That's exactly what that is. <laughs> awesome. I wonder how many rounds of this I got. I better not use it all in one place. Ah, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, I meant to do this episode for you guys way back around, um, way back around Christmas time, but, you know, eh, you can't win when you have family coming in from all over the world and stuff, and you're just like, yep, gotta be here for them and things. So, you know, I'm making up for lost time for you all, but let me just tell you this, though. It, it was a pretty good holiday since we last convened on this. And let me tell you something, like, I'm going to work on um, organizing stuff for the end of the year like I had it, you know? Because usually I would have, like, a jams episode at the end of the year, but not anymore. We got the mixtapes coming back for that, you know, during special events such as, like, Year's End and all. And there should be at least a, at least a mini bite or a J-Man episode for you guys. So, you know, laying all that stuff out for uh, the year, um, year end of 2024. So we're going to make it a nice special, you know what I mean? But yeah, I don't think we have too much longer to go in Killzone, as a matter of fact. So I got to get ready for the next game for you all. We're going to dive back into the Xbox library, actually. I know I should start doing it like, um, you know, original and sequels and stuff. But uh, I'll be honest with you. I will do sequel soon, but you know, it's just what, what do you think I'm trying to do, Luger, huh? 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 I see it and it sees me. I'm gonna have too much fun with this thing. Be very irresponsible and crap. Aren't we all, Hacker? Aren't we all? 
yeah, we're going to wrap this one up. We're going back to the Xbox library. And I'm going to start throwing some polls up here so you guys can go ahead and choose which game will probably be on the power play. Not for that next playthrough, though, but the one immediately after it and stuff. So, you know, just trying to get it where I, where I need it for this series. And then so far, so good. Like, you know, I still got the face cam I got to bring up and all that stuff. We're going to have a lot of cool things to happen during um, episode 61 of this. Huh. 60 episodes of the power play. New era, by the way. It's pretty awesome. I'm glad that all the shows are coming along and achieving great things. By the way, um, I've noticed four, four days in 2024 and things have still... <laughs> New Year, same old, same old stupidity, you know what I mean? Man, I'm going to hold off on that. Hold off on that. I mean, first we have a guy tackling a judge. Second thing we have... The same way we got through the other bases, Luger. And then, of course, now you got the whole thing about there's a fe female director leading the new Star Wars movie. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, by the way, but it's like, why don't you just make the damn movie? You know, th does gender really have to play a role in all this crap? You know, there is such a thing as different forms of discrimination, right? And isn't that, like, the whole thing for us to just, you know, wipe that whole thing out? You know what I mean? Like... For it to not even be an issue anymore. Well, apparently, uh, they got it the other way. Because, I mean, the ones, uh, the ones that are bullying used to be bullied, it seems like. And then this person that they got here, like, she hates men. I mean, like, you can tell that this new director for this Star Wars film that's supposed to be coming hates men. I mean, it's just like when people try to use race to justify a point. It's like, there is an agenda there, and at the end of the day, it's not a very good one. And the way, like, people's statements of these things just come across as, like, one, vague, and two, full of hate. Everybody working together should be the most beautiful end game of everything, but nobody wants to see it that way. And once again, let's see. There's a lot of crap that came out in, like, 2014, and you figure this is, like, 2014's upgraded form. You know, t ten years have passed, right? So, ah, uh, that was my fault. So, you know, ten years have passed. Didn't we have something like that, dealing with video games or something, where all of a sudden it became a huge cluster fudge of gender this and gender that and all? I'm I'm just thinking right now because it I don't know it's just it's it's so weird to me how we got to this point. Yeah. So anyway, like I was saying, you know, it, I don't think it really matters about gender and stuff like that. I think it really matters, like, if you have the right crew to do the friggin' work that you want them to do. And then not only that, be a better leader about things. It's just really, really, stuff like that just gets on my nerves, man. And then not only that, all these written reports of, oh, the math isn't mathing and all that stuff. Yeah, trust me, I've seen, I seen Tajiri... Uh, I can't think of her name sometime. Um, Taraja P. Henson's whole spiel. And I gotta say, that is the most disingenuous, um, as most disingenuous shit I've ever seen in my life. Because, like, the woman has made significant movies, okay? No, I didn't blow up myself up, by the way. I got shot, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm 0 for 2 right now. Now I'm starting to see how the Philadelphia Eagles feel. We'll talk about that later in the episode. But, 
you know, like, I, I saw what she was saying. She said, the math isn't mathing. And she's over there crying and talking about how she didn't make, like, as much money as somebody else is. I've noticed that, too. I mean, really, this is where we are as a people, guys. I mean, yeah, it's good to talk about wages and stuff, but see, in productions, you usually have, like, an agent of certain that will actually talk for you to get you that leverage that you feel as though you need. Like, if you're going to be about a public, you know, be about, like, a, um, making movies and all that stuff. But I remember when she won that, it was an Emmy for, like, Empire and all that stuff. And then I remember, like, certain things she did do and it's like she's not on that grand scale yet about a few things where she can go ahead and you know it's it's, it's kind of hard to talk about but I can't remember anything that she hasn't done where she wasn't in the hood you know and we need to bring back certain positive movies where we're out of the hood and stuff like that like you know, everybody talks about how great the Cosby show was back in the day, and it was a decent show despite what happened to Bill and everything. But, you know, there's a lot more to these arguments, and I always say, like, you know, you gotta really pay attention to see exactly what this person is crying about. Because, like I said, I don't do celebrity worship, man. And I think people forget that. I think people forget a lot about, like, um... You know, just because they're on there crying and stuff like that doesn't mean that they come from a legitimate spot. Some people just do it because, you know, it's good TV. But also, I remember, like, she made some significant acting roles. She did win an award. But at the end of the day, what else has she done lately? I mean, she was in that new color purple, right? You know, for a while there, there were people of color making significant strides. And at the end of the day, it's like, you know, everybody's talking about, oh, I need to make more money than this. When you're an actor, okay, you make money above the line. That money has to be a part of everybody's pay is either above the line if you're like, it's like salary, you know what I mean, if you're an actor. But also, you got to figure, like, when you're part of the crew and everything, you're below the line. You're, you're the hourly person. You are the infantry person at that point. You know? So... There's a lot about this, there's a lot about the filmmaking business that isn't fair, you know? Especially mainstream filmmaking, like, how come stunt people don't win awards? You know? And I mean at Oscars. Like, they, like have you seen some of those categories and crap? Like, you know, at the end of the day, it's not a fair business. There is no HR department like anything. So... You know, at the end of the day, it's like, it's always a risk and a gamble when you're involved in filmmaking anyway. Even for those that are that love it. Like, I love the business and everything, but I always think this. I think people are very entitled. I also think, like, you know, they forget that the most important thing is when it comes to a production budget, all that stuff comes together in that same line. I was thinking we didn't get him. Uh, hold on a sec. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when she's on there saying, the math isn't math, and it's like, bitch, you made money. Okay? You got paid more than certain people in the crew and stuff, too. Let's let's just be honest. But after a while, you got to be careful when certain people do that stuff. Because, like, um, yes, while the agent will speak for them and how much money they will earn, the agent will also try to leverage a little bit more than maybe even the damn production budget can cover. Because I want everybody to eat when they're working with me. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to eat. I want everybody to be able to buy things and enjoy themselves and realize that they are a part of something. So, you know, like I say, when it comes to the money management, you know, everybody should work together. But it's just it's, it's weird to me sometimes. You know, entitlements and, like, what you get on your earning are two very different things. Because, like, even during major big productions, like, a lot of a lot of films don't really have that much money entirely. And those that get paid above the line, they get paid for the day. That same salary. So you mean to tell me that her stuff is not coming together? She's probably looking at Meryl Streep's and 
stuff and saying that she's not getting as much money as that too, which is very interesting. Hell, I would love to make Meryl Streep money. Hell, I would love to make Steven Spielberg money, to be honest with you. But I'll get there eventually. You know? So. And, and you know, what, what happened to Amplify Black Voices and stuff? Oh, let me, let me guess. People got lazy with it. And they stopped thinking about it after a while, right? You know, I, I remember all that stuff, people. And there was something that came out, there was something that came out not too long ago saying that they're not hiring a lot of females and people of color. And I'm like, but I thought they were when that was all the rage. Remember, like, all that outrage that was happening in the early 2020s and stuff? I thought that made a, I thought that made a headway, but I see, but... When things die down, however, people don't maintain stuff either. It's, that's a damn shame. But also, you got to realize certain publications write this stuff, too. If there's no problem, there's no worry. And if there's no worry, there's no readership. So, you know, you got to scare the living hell out of people. You got to you gotta let them know that, oh, my God, there's a big problem in the world. And there's only one way to solve it. We complain and be entitled about it. I mean, I look at it from both sides, man. I look at it like how an actor would, but I also look at it like as a business owner. Because, you know, lots, lots of times you're campaigning and lobbying for money from the studios and all that stuff. And those record-making profits. So, I don't know. But I, like I said, but the way she went about it, I was like, oh, my God. And then my mother comes and talks to me about, like, her, Monique, and all that stuff. And I'm like, they're not heroes to me. Maybe they are to, like, other people in our family, but not to me, you know? Because even, even Monique, like, there was a moment where she was hard to work with. As soon as she got that damn Oscar from Precious, man, she became insufferable. Or, or no, when she got the Oscar for Precious and when she got married, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you know her husband, her husband's a... Her husband is involved in a lot of stuff in the media, so. Good things, mind you. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just like, you, you know what kind of people you're dealing with when you talk business. So you just gotta know how to be about that business life and all that stuff, but. I don't know. And then, like, you're always trying to wonder what the grand complaint is, because after we get through this one, there's gonna be another one that follows immediately after it, and. What ironically followed immediately after it was, is Star Wars going to be okay? Is the MCU still a thing? What can fix the MCU? Oh my god, what are they doing regarding video games? Triple A video game production is being, it is so woke now. Man, there's that argument. It gets to the point where you go back to some of the older games and you're like, you know what? Everything in this whole age and this whole generation was... A lot better. I'm not trying to sound like an old fart, mind you, but I don't know. It just it just be like that sometimes. Oh shit! Run! <sighs> Shut up, Luger! <laughs> Excuse me a minute, I'm in the middle of war, you know? Ah, damn it. I hope I ain't got to do all that over again. If so, we're going to make this pretty much like a death reel episode, alright? <laughs> yeah, you got to find a way to make things work. But like I said, though, looking at the industry and everything, I'm saying it's pretty much New Year, same old argument. Oh shit, I do have to do this all over again. Damn it! Alright, alright. Alright, so we'll call it Total Recall then. There we go. Alright, so the old way ain't working, so we're gonna have to come up with some new ways.
And it doesn't really help that this viewfinder is like reflective to everything. Lord, Rico, just kill him, all right? There we go. One way or another, we will get through this level, okay? I don't care how many times I die in this game. <laughs> but anyway, going back to the whole thing about the industry, though, I'm just saying that we need to go on ahead and just make stuff again. Just, just make stuff. I don't even... I, I would say don't even worry about the sequel right now. Just make something that really really stands out that you want to do without necessarily being agenda based and not only that well that's kind of hard to go by right because everything has a theme to it and all like there's always a story that needs to be told but it's just the way you tell it like even sometimes like you know my words are flubbing up right now because there's a lot going on and i'm trying to be deep during a time when i should be kicking some ass which isn't bad you know a little double team in here. All right, <laughs> I got more of those. Let me, let me. All right, all right, all right. Nope, 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 nope. All right. Well, let's go ahead and see what's up. Uh oh. Bastard was coming. He was coming for all of us. Some bitch. <laughs> so yeah, you know, like I, I wanted to explain that to you guys, but. Yeah, as I'm paying attention to those things, I just realized I got to go back to I got to go back to my old stuff. You know, got to go back to the, some of the things that I like to do when I was at Womb U back in the day. You know, shut up, Luger! Damn, and y'all get out of the way. See, like. All right, here's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to stay away from them because they're going to get me killed. Wow, well, third time's a charm. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to stay away from the AI people, and we're just going to go ahead and just do this thing. All right? I did it my own way the last few episodes, so I don't know why I'm not doing it the right way this episode. A uh, hacker, the war is over there. Homeboy is aggroed. Whoa, get out the way. And now Rico wants to do something. Thank you. Jeez. My brother has to go out there and practically get himself killed, but I mean, at least they finally did something. Whew. 
Me back is swollen because of carrying these damn people. <laughs> All right, let's carry on. Oh, man. But you know what, though? Got a lot to look forward to this year. It's not always just the crazy arguments and the rampant stupidity of my uh, contemporaries and all. But Godzilla Kong, the new empire, is coming out in April, and I'm looking forward to that right now. Not thinking about anything else. Not a damn thing, son. Well, did the bullets just hit that guy late, too? I don't know, but I think as as I'm getting closer to the end of this playthrough, you know, I'm starting to see what Al's complaining about. Yeah, I'm really starting to see it. Actually, go right here. See what that does. I mean, I think they were trying to do that Call of Duty level where you can blast tanks from above and all. The AC-130. And they're doing it very horribly. Yeah, I'm not a real fan of this level at all. But, we gonna get through it. In gaming, there's always that one level. So, figure it out, try to get through it. And, you know, at the end of the day, if you have like a little death reel going on, <laughs> well, you know what? It's funny as hell when they die anyway, motherfucker. Game is not fair. <laughs> yeah, I don't rage when I die in a game. I just try to learn and figure out another strategy of where to go at next. Just have multiple different timelines going on. Y'all like that stuff, right? You know that multiverse crap? I wonder how Alternate J would do things. Like a real, real alternate version of myself. Hmm. Uh, the world can barely handle one of me, let alone, like, multiple variants. The same way we did the other base camps. Like I said, I, I don't think Luger is a... Really that bad. I just think that she's annoying as hell. And then there are times where it's like... You know, what about the earlier levels where we actually went through a bunch of base encampments? And not only that, I give you guys some pretty funny clips around here. Jeez, can't you just be my damn backbone about this stuff? Loved it if we could have put some tank mines down. That would have been great. Yeah, like, see, I know what they were going for when they did that, but uh, nope, no time for show and tell. But yeah, if you if you seen the viewfinder in this level, it's kind of it makes it kind of hard to see crap, you know. So. That's all. That's my only complaint, amongst other things. But yeah, let's just say that's my only complaint tonight. Ooh, a scout!
Takes a lot to put them boys down, though. I've noticed that, too. All right. If I didn't hear him scream, I probably would have kept on wailing at him. <laughs> and guess what? I didn't hear him scream. Actually, wasn't there another path this way? Should allow me to take some of the um sure enough is. Well would you look at that, people? Shut up, Luger. Just just shut up. Alright, I'm gonna trade up guns. Hmm, I'm wondering. Did they get him? Kind of reminded me of that scene from RoboCop, you know, where all those, uh, where the Boddicker gang like unloaded all of their um, rounds and magazines inside, <laughs> inside of Officer Murphy. It's like, you know, that's that's too much brutality going on for one person. Damn it. Well, time to do some reconnaissance and get some, uh, get some weaponry right quick before we move on. I don't know, it just gets you thinking sometime. But keep in mind this, alright? I want anybody who's in the school of J-Man to know. You have the potential to do and be anything you would like to be, no matter what age you are. And the only limits you got are what you put on yourself. And if you put on some crazy-ass limits, stop wearing it, damn it. Have a little fun doing the stuff. Laugh at yourself a little bit. You know? Everybody's afraid to look stupid. I mean, you know, if stuff ain't right around you and things, and considering how, like, everything is pretty damn dysfunctional, <laughs> everything already looks kind of crazy anyway. Get out of the way of the people shooting at you. I really got enough. That sound like some armor over there. Well, of course it is.
Take that, you bastards! And there it is. Oof, well, a little treasure trove over here. Oh my god, what the hell? Ah, oh, damn it. Is he stuck in a wall or some shit? Oh man, decisions, decisions. Are we gonna part with this? Yeah, we're gonna ride with it a little bit longer. Into the jungle! Oh, man. Anyway, let me see. Where, where's the button to actually lower that gate? I know it's gotta be something around here. There it is. To the mountain! Well, we got through there <laughs> and all that jazz. Oh, man. I don't even care about my stats. I, I never really do. I'm good when I'm good. And at the end of the day, I just like slaying uh, the enemy forces when I can, by the way. And we're out of weaponry on this. I gotta trade that off then. I don't even remember this level. By the way, special thank you to Mr. Alan Navarre. For inspiring this playthrough. Shut up, Luger. It's called reconnaissance. Think about it. Asshole. <laughs> oh, come on. Like, you guys don't argue with the most annoying character in the game. Man, <laughs> seeing that just 
Uh, it just makes me miss the PlayStation 2 era. Uh, don't you worry about that. That's going to be on this series, too. I actually got a few more game consoles to bring in on this thing. And dare I say, I think it's time for the Big N to make their appearance, too. I, mean, I wouldn't do anything to endanger their brand, right? You know? Shoot. I don't endanger my brand every week. Or do I? <laughs> I'm just messing. Yeah, Nintendo can be a bit to deal with, though. I remember, like, you couldn't even stream without having, like, some sort of a, a deal in place with them. And I'm like, it's just playing video games, though, right? Like, but, you know, I like Mario, I like Link, why the hell not? And then not to mention, like, you know, playing classic Smash Brothers and all. Or even a little bit of GoldenEye. I mean, what did they think kids were doing when they were playing GoldenEye all the time? You know, sharing recipes and shit like that. Hell, yeah, they were talking shit, man. You gotta figure, today's Call of Duty champ at one time was a, a pioneer playing GoldenEye. Nice. You know some They really do got the Vietnamese jungles down pat in this game. Interesting. Like I said, I'm good when I'm good, damn it. In the jungle. Hey, maybe that's another one of those special guns. Or not like wh is this an AA or something like that? Okay, well we're taking the wood as whatever it is. All right, so we would do this right, but this is one of them older games, so. Let's do it as irresponsible as possible. Alright, I guess we're going this way then. Okay.
Shut that noise down. Jesus. This isn't half bad. This, this is actually really good. Could be polished a little bit better, but I mean, at the end of the day, it can't all be kill zone too. Alright. Yeah, we should go ahead and go with this. Yeah, I don't know what kind of gun that heavy gun we got is, but packs a punch. Limited magazine, but packs one hell of a punch. I'm cool with it. Alright, well, we know where we're not going. Get to on the other side of where we're going. That's a very beautiful thing to see. Damn, okay. I mean, he was right there and so were those crates. And that's what we're going to do. All right. Yeah, I better not climb up these things. I remember destroying a few of them on the way here. So, yeah, we, we, we ain't doing that. No kidding, Luger. That was weird as hell. Damn, damn. Okay. Hey, get my retry in, man. We're going to do this one more time. We got to.
I ain't worried about the damn mission, uh, Luger. I know what the hell that is. When you already know, you already know. Yeah, thanks, Luger. I know. Jeez. Granted, I knew she's reading lines, but, you know, I, I was trying to make my peace with it. And failed miserably. I got an SMG and I'm good. Oof. Uh. up Luger yeah the J360 power play drinking game whenever J-Man says shut up Luger <laughs> me shut up anyway yep 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 felt so good to get back in the swing of things on this episode guys I mean I'm sorry for the little lateness there for a bit but we're going to have to go ahead and tie it on here. Brother Man got things to do. But other than that, though, we will be coming back with another episode shortly. And tomorrow is going to be great because Friday belongs to Jams, of course. So J360 Jams is happening tomorrow at 10 via Spreaker, 
slash show, no, Spreaker.com slash show slash J360Jams. 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Some of the best music produced worldwide, and we're going to rock in the new year. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> but all in all, though, let me get on out of here. This is J-Man signing off. Take care of yourselves. Try to make this a great year. Peace. J360 Production.